Hey everybody, welcome back to the Here to See channel. Got another Here journal for you. Genesis chapter 16 in the first book of the Bible, Genesis. Here to See channel focused on sharing pearls of wisdom, nuggets of knowledge, understanding the difficult, and instructions for a better life. We're reading through the entire book of Genesis, a chapter at a time, and doing a Here journal on each chapter. Here journaling is a method that many find edifying to their personal relationship with the Lord. Check out replicate.org to learn more about here journaling. But now, let's read and listen to Genesis chapter 16 in the New Living Translation from the YouVersion Bible app. Then, I'll share my here journal with you. Chapter 16 the birth of Ishmael. Now Sarai, Abram's wife, had not been able to bear children for him, but she had an Egyptian servant named Hagar. So Sarai said to Abram, The Lord has prevented me from having children. Go and sleep with my servant. Perhaps I can have children through her. And Abram agreed with Sarai's proposal. So Sarai, Abram's wife, took Hagar the Egyptian servant and gave her to Abram as a wife. This happened ten years after Abram had settled in the land of Canaan. So Abram had sexual relations with Hagar, and she became pregnant. But when Hagar knew she was pregnant, she began to treat her mistress, Sarai, with contempt. Then Sarai said to Abram, This is all your fault. I put my servant into your arms, but now that she is pregnant, she treats me with contempt. The Lord will show who's wrong, you or me. Abram replied, Look, she is your servant, so deal with her as you see fit. Then Sarai treated Hagar so harshly that she finally ran away. The angel of the Lord found Hagar beside a spring of water in the wilderness, along the road to Shur. The angel said to her, Hagar, Sarai's servant, where have you come from, and where are you going? I'm running away from my mistress, Sarai, she replied. The angel of the Lord said to her, Return to your mistress, and submit to her authority. Then he added, I will give you more descendants than you can count. And the angel also said, You are now pregnant, and will give birth to a son. You are to name him Ishmael, which means God hears. For the Lord has heard your cry of distress. This son of yours will be a wild man, as untamed as a wild donkey. He will raise his fist against everyone, and everyone will be against him. Yes, he will live in open hostility against all his relatives. Thereafter, Hagar used another name to refer to the Lord who had spoken to her. She said, You are the God who sees me. She also said, Have I truly seen the one who sees me? So that well was named Ber Laheroi, which means well of the living one who sees me. It can still be found between Kadesh and Berid. So Hagar gave Abram a son, and Abram named him Ishmael. Abram was eighty-six years old when Ishmael was born. And that was Genesis chapter 16 in the New Living Translation from the New Version Bible app. Now for my Here Journal. First the highlight. Genesis chapter 16, verses 15 and 16. Verse 15. So Hagar gave Abram a son, and Abram named him Ishmael. Abram was 86 years old when Ishmael was born. So, what's my explanation? Genesis chapter 6 recounts that Abram and Sari could not see how God would fulfill his promise of a child in their union, so they conspired to have a child through Hagar that would become Ishmael. Abraham was 86 years old. Isaac would be born when Abram was 100 years old, and Sari, to become Sarah, would be 90. So what's the application for us today? God is ever faithful. He will always fulfill His promises, perhaps not on the timetable that we may want or ever the way we might expect. 
This is a great lesson for us to be faithful and obedient, to strive and abide in and with the Lord consistently and continuously. We must patiently wait on the Lord and follow His will, not to try to accomplish God's will in our own power and reasoning. Proverbs chapter 3 verses 5 and 8. Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge Him, and He will make straight your paths. Do not be wise in your own eyes. Fear the Lord and turn away from evil. It will be healing to your flesh and refreshment to your bones. Isaiah chapter 40 verse 31 But they who wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. 1 John 1 9 If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Deuteronomy 7 9 Know therefore that the Lord your God is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and steadfast love with those who love Him and keep His commandments to a thousand generations. So, what's my response? Thank you, Lord, for your faithful promises. I look forward to the day that I will leave this sinful world to dwell with you and other faithful followers through eternity. I pray for those that do not know you that they will yield to your unction and become faithful and obedient followers too. Amen. And now how about you? Why don't you try some hair journaling? Highlight, explain, apply, respond. You'll be so glad you did. Comment below. Share your experiences. Has God met you with a confirmed promise? If you don't know Jesus as your Lord and Savior, read the Gospel of John chapter 3 to learn about His forgiveness and talk to God about it. You can talk to God about anything. He loves you. Seek Him now.